guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be going over my February TBR. Now, these are going to all be contemporary romances because it is the month of love. It is the month of romance, and flowers, and chocolate, and the and Valentine's Day. So to me, personally, this is when spring kind of starts in my mind when contemporary reads sound like the best reads. Even though we have much snow outside, um, and we're definitely still in the throes of winter, to me, this is the time to start my contemporary reads. So all the books on my February TBR are contemporary romances and I'm really, really excited about them. I gave myself a goal this year that I didn't really talk about because it was just a goal that I gave myself and it was for me. But um, if you follow me on Instagram, a while back I talked about reader's guilt and just how my review books got really backed up and it just made me feel really guilty and it was overwhelming and blah 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 anyways whole post over there anyways that has helped me tremendously because now I'm just reading books when I am in the mood for them and it's making reading enjoyable again but my goal for myself was to still try my hardest to prioritize my review books and not request anymore or join additional street teams or really grab any of my own books that aren't for review um, until I made a bigger dent in my review pile. The month of January tremendously helped me out. I was actually able to make a pretty nice dent in my historicals. So now February is the perfect time to make a dent in my contemporary. So all of the books on my TBR today are actually from my review shelf. So I'm very, very excited and I'm really looking forward to reading these books this month. So without further ado, I'm going to actually show you what books I'm talking about. Yes, it's already a week into the month uh, that I'm filming this, but if you watched my last vlog and you followed me on Instagram, you saw that I am no longer working at my full-time job. I'm going to be working part-time at the church with my dad, so I'll have a little bit more reading time. And contemporary romances always go by pretty fast, especially like once you're in them and you have time, you never want to leave. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to get through my TBR pretty quick. I'm actually already a little over halfway through with the first book that I'm going to be talking about, so by the time this goes live, I'll have finished it. And I'm still going to talk about it though, because I haven't finished it yet, and it's on my TBR, so... The first one is It's Just Business by Summer Dow. This is, this is book two in her wedding business series. Book one is If It's Perfect, following the cake decorator. This is following the florist, Haley, and she is a lot of fun. She's a hoot. She's a whole hot mess. <laughs> but I'm really enjoying her character. She has dreams to own her own floral shop, and lo and behold, Austin, our main male character, comes in and steals the space from her for a different business. It's been a whole debacle of her pulling her friends in and doing all kinds of things to get back at Austin and try to get her floral shop back. So it's been a lot of fun, a lot of mishaps and just little things. And of course, they're falling in love with each other at the same time. So it's bound to be a disaster when it blows up. But Summer always does a really good job wrapping things up. I've enjoyed the first book in the series, and I am really enjoying this one. And On Schedule, I think is the third book, actually comes out in a couple weeks, and I'm really excited about that one. So next book on my TBR is Amanda by Sarah Monzen. This is book four in the Sewing and SoCal series. I really enjoyed books one through three, Molly, Jocelyn, and Betsy. I'm really excited to read Amanda's story. I've heard really good things about it so far. Uh, Amanda is a social media manager for sports and she has an autoimmune disorder that has gone undiagnosed and I've heard that that's really been exciting. Exciting is a weird term, but for people who have auto, auto, autoimmune disorders, especially those that have been undiagnosed, I've heard that the representation has been really, really nice and it's done well. 
Sarah is super passionate about dealing with those subjects and she does them well in my opinion. Um, but I mean, I, I can't really say from like a personal experience because I haven't had to deal with really any of the things that her girls have gone through. So I, I guess my opinion on that doesn't really matter, but I've enjoyed all of the stories. But I'm very excited about this book. I'm not 100% sure what it is totally about. I like to go into stories blind, personally. Uh, but from scanning the back, it looks like uh, Amanda deals a lot with her auto autoimmune disorder and um, a professional football player. So we love a good sports book, even though I'm not into sports do love a good sports book. So I'm really excited. It's promised to have wit and banter and puns because that is what Sarah excels at. And I'm really, really excited to pick it up at some point this month. Next book I have is The Key to Love by Betsy St. Amant. This book is one that's been on my TBR like one of the longest, but I'm a mood reader and I have to be in the mood. And now it is the perfect contemporary Valentine's Day bakery love type foody stuff mood. So it's on my TBR. <laughs> uh, again, another one that I'm not 100% sure what it's about. The cover is beautiful and it has cookie hearts on it and it looks like a bakery and you can't go wrong with cookie hearts and bakeries and it, the key to love. Like, hello, Valentine's Day. So I had to pick it up. I have read one of Betsy St. Amant's um, short stories. I read it over Christmas and I really enjoyed her writing style so I'm really looking forward to reading this book. The next book is another one by Betsy St. Amant and that's the one that came out in 2021 and that is Tacos for Two and it is way bigger than I thought it was going to be like comparatively. This one is almost double the size of A Key to Love so I really hope that this one isn't like a big blowout because they don't communicate because that is one of my biggest pet peeves. But I'm holding out judgment until I start reading it. The cover is adorable. I'm really looking forward to it. It's about a food truck owner who can't cook. That's going to be fun. Um, and then a food truck festival and that's always fun and I'm sure Ah uh, yes, and Jude Strong, our main guy character, is also going to be in the Food Truck Festival and things are going to get complicated and lovely, I'm sure, at the end and I am so stinking excited. I think this has been on my TBR like the longest and I've put it on my TBR a few times. Um, the cover just doesn't really draw me in, but I've heard amazing things about the book so it's on my TBR and I'm gonna try to get through it and read it because people seem like I've heard raving things about this book and that is Before I Called You Mine by Nicole Deese and this has a thread of adoption and um, I think the girl is like trying to adopt as a single parent and then something with the I don't even know. Again I go into books blind so I'm sorry if that's not enough and people want to know what the books are about but I personally don't care to know what the books are about before I read them. It's, I don't know, it's a me thing. I'm really excited to pick it up. I think now's the time to do it. Next, I don't know if it's technically going to be considered a romance. Um, it might lean more towards like the women fiction with threads of romance. I'm, it just says contemporary on the thing. Um, but this is tentative. Like, if I get through the other ones and this one sounds good, I'll pick it up. But if not, I might put it on a different TBR on a different month. But that is After She Falls by Carmen Chaubert. Chaubert? Please forgive me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, this is her debut novel with Bethany House. And it is about an MMA, MMA fighter. And I believe she's also Latina. And I'm just really, really excited to read it. It sounds very interesting. Different from what I've read before. Um, so I'm interested to give it a go. Uh, the cover is very interesting. There's a picture going this way with the writing going this way. And I'm really intrigued to give it a go. And then the last three books on my TBR are all little love inspired books. So I always go through these pretty quick. 
I don't read a ton of the contemporary ones much anymore, but there are two authors that I will always read. And that is Jill Lynn and Tina Radcliffe. I just love them both so much. So I have a couple of their books on my TBR. I have two by Jill Lynn and one by Tina. So the first one is Choosing His Family. And I believe this is the last book in the Colorado Grooms series. Yes. Um, so I don't remember which one this is. I think four or five if I remember correctly. I have read all of them. I've reviewed them all. I've really enjoyed the series. It's been cute. Uh, so I'm very excited to finish this off. And the other one that she just sent me, this one actually comes out in March of this year. So it's not quite out yet, but it will be. And that is The Veteran's Vow. And this is in a new series, Canine Companions. I'm not sure if she's going to be writing all of the books in the series or if it will be one of those ones where it's a series and they have multiple um, love inspired authors write for it. I guess we will see as time goes on. But I'm very excited and I'm very thankful to Jill for sending this to me and I can't wait to read it this month. And the last book I've actually put off because this is one that I've been waiting for anxiously. Uh, but I also wanted to put it off so I don't get my expectations too high because when I do that, the stories don't always hit where I want them to hit right here in my heart. So, it's been a toss-up. But now I'm really excited to finally get it done, even though I'm going to be sad because I'm pretty sure this is the last book in the series. And that is The Cowgirl Sacrifice by Tina Radcliffe. And this is the last one in a Hearts of Oklahoma story series, I believe. This is about the sister... I don't remember her name. Kate. It's about Kate Rainbolt and she is the last Rainbolt sibling and I'm really looking forward to her book. She was a rodeo clown so I'm interested to see why her career stopped and why she came home because I'm assuming that's what she's gonna do. All the Rainbolts came home at one point or another so yeah. I'm very intrigued. I'm excited to read it. It's a love inspired so they go by pretty quick. Those are the books on my TBR for the month of February. Lots of romance, lots of love, lots of food actually. A couple of them center around food so that's exciting. Uh, I'm sorry that I don't know a ton about the books. I, I personally don't enjoy really knowing. <laughs> like I have a general idea but these are pretty much authors that I know and trust or have been recommended their books by someone that I know and trust. I like to go into things blind. Sorry. But I will have reviews for them after I'm done reading them so you can hear all about what I think and then I'll know what the story is about and it's going to be great. So yeah. That's what I'm reading in the month of February. I want to know what you guys are reading. Are you doing anything special? Are you reading anything special for Valentine's Day? Or are you just picking up whatever feels good? Don't forget, you can check out my blog at fortheloveofchristianfiction.blogspot.com. You can also check out my Instagram at fortheloveofchristianfiction. And all my other links are in the description box below. I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!